In this video, we will review how to customize options and views for worksheets and workbooks. The fastest way to hide a worksheet is to right-click on the Sheet tab and then click on Hide. To unhide the worksheet, click the Home tab, click the Format button in the Sales group, move down to Hide and Unhide, and then click on Unhide Sheet. Click the sheet name and then click OK. To hide rows and columns, select the row or column, click Format, click on Hide and Unhide, and then click on either Hide Rows or Hide Columns depending on what you've selected. To unhide, select the area where the hidden rows are, return to Format, click on Hide and Unhide, and then click on Unhide Rows. To customize the Quick Access Toolbar, click the drop-down arrow on the Quick Access Toolbar, click on More Commands, and then choose Commands. If you're not sure where the command is, choose All Commands and you will get an alphabetized list of all of the commands. Click on a command and click Add to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. If you no longer want the command on your Quick Access Toolbar, you can remove it. When you finish making revisions, click OK. To customize the ribbon, click the File tab, click Options, select Customize Ribbon, choose a group of commands, I recommend all commands, decide where you want your new tab to be, click, and then click on New Tab. This inserts a new tab in a new group. You need to rename these. So click on the new tab, click rename, and then enter the name for your custom tab. Click OK. Click new group, and you need to rename it as well. Click OK. Click on group 1, and then scroll through the commands list to find appropriate commands to add to the first group on your new tab. And I'm just going to select some at random. Once you finish adding commands to your new tab and group on the ribbon, go ahead and click OK. And then click your custom tab to view it. To change workbook views, you can use the buttons in the right portion of the status bar or you can click on the view tab and use the option, excuse me, use the options in the workbook views group. To use zoom, you can use the zoom slider in the status bar. Or you can use the zoom group on the view tab. To freeze panes, select the desired cell, click the View tab, and then click on Freeze Panes in the Window group. Select Freeze Panes. And you can see how it puts the lines in. Everything to the top and left of this cell will be frozen as we scroll the worksheet. To return to the top, press Control Home. To unfreeze the panes, click Freeze Panes and then Unfreeze Panes. To split the window, you will click on the Split button in the window group. And notice that it inserts the split wherever the selected cell was. You can move the split, 
or you can resize it. To unsplit the window, click Split again. To display formulas, click on the Formulas tab, and then click on Show Formulas in the Formula Auditing group. And you can see that it does display formulas when you do this. This is a toggle button, so click it to return to regular view. To record a simple macro, carefully plan the steps for the macro. Make sure you practice them. When you are ready to record, click the Developer tab and then click on Record Macro in the Code group. Enter the macro name. Select where to store it. Enter a description. And then click OK to begin recording. Click the Stop button in the status bar to stop recording. Click the Developer tab. Click on Macros. Click your macro name and then click Edit to view it in VBA to ensure that it did record the steps. When finished, close VBA. To assign a shortcut key to a macro, click the Developer tab, click Macros in the Code group, select the macro, click on Options, and then press the appropriate key. Click OK, close the Macro dialog box, and then press the key sequence to test it. In this particular instance, I used Control and lowercase r and you can see that it does format the to hide worksheet which is the macro steps that I recorded earlier. To manage macro security click the developer tab and then click macro security in the code group. You have your macro settings options here but you will want to click through all of the Trust Center settings in case you are asked about something other than macro settings. To add values to workbook properties, click the File tab and then click Show All Properties. You can add text to these different properties. Press Enter when you finish. If you need Advanced Properties, click on Properties and then click Advanced Properties. And then you have the different tabs here. When finished, click OK. And this concludes the review for customizing options and views for worksheets and workbooks.